Hey guys, as promised, here is the full build for this geometrical woodworking piece. Um, let's get to it. Okay, so to start out, what we're gonna do is rip a eight foot uh, board into a two and a half inch strip. Uh, we should be able to get all of our triangles out of this one board. Now, all of these triangles will need to be on 60 degree angles. Um, I've made a jig uh, to help with that, and I will show you just here in a bit how to make that jig. Uh, since most motor saws, none that I know of, will actually cut at a uh, 60 degree angle. But we're starting out with just uh, making our first cut just to uh, get the angle to begin with, and that's all we have to do is flip this over and um, make that exact 60 degree angle cut again for our perfect triangle. If you've noticed, I've put a board in the um, back up against the fence. That's just to help with spacing. Uh, that is not necessary, but very helpful. You could always just eyeball the, uh, the triangle. Uh, what we're looking for is a sharp tip on the point of it. Um, the spacer board that I'm putting in the back uh, just helps to ensure that every single one of my cuts are identical. And as you can see that we have 12 triangles cut. Now what I'm going to do is right about one inch uh, away from the bottom of the triangle, I'm going to cut it in half. Um, and I'm going to do this for each one of these. And what that is going to do is when you go to put this together, it will actually allow you to um, have more room for error and to move around. Here I've just laid my triangles out. Now we have 24 pieces, um, but I've laid them out into sections. We're gonna need four sections of a light color. I'm using spray paint and actually just wiping some of that off. Um, four sections of a um, kind of a mid tan color. Um, and I'm using a kind of a lighter stain for that. And then we'll also need four sections um, that will be a dark color. And whenever I say section, it's actually the triangle split in half. Okay, now for the layout. You may want to screenshot that because this is how it's all going to go together. Okay, so what I'm calling the center cube is actually made up of the three different colors, um, two triangles of each, uh, just back to back um, and, and fit together. The left side, the way that I have designed this one, will be the dark stained uh, triangles. Uh, the right side will be the uh, lighter stained and the top will be the, uh, the white. If you look at the cube in the middle, the colors will be opposite of the cubes. Now you really can't see the 3D effect while the material is flat. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like from above. Um, and if you're wondering the side pieces, um, that's all I've done is taken uh, just some three quarter scrap that actually came off of the edges of this and, um, and cut those on 60 degrees uh, to make that, uh, that side edge to hold everything together and to um, kind of make it look a little more sharp. Um, what you're seeing me do here is just lay everything out onto a piece of a quarter of an inch plywood. That plywood is just going to give us something to glue down to. That way we don't have to uh, use a whole lot of face nails for this project. Uh, you know, the whole point of this is to make it look crisp and clean. So what I'm doing right at this point is I'm taking um, just one of these strips that I've cut at the 60 degrees as my trim and I've clamped them on the spring clamps. That's gonna give us a backboard to push against uh, as, we're, as we're putting all of our pieces into place. There are a lot of pieces and a lot of gluing. Um, again, that just helps to, to kind of align things up um, and give you the ability to put a little bit of pressure against it. Now, once everything is basically in place, I'm just taking a small screwdriver, kind of manipulating the different pieces. And this is where uh, cutting those pieces in half uh, actually helps to square things up. It gives you a little more play. 
Now with all the sides clamped up, I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. Okay, so here's that jig that I was uh, telling you about. Basically, I just took a, looks like a 10 inch piece of scrap plywood and I'm gonna cut it at 30 degrees. Um, what this is going to do is, like I mentioned before, is it's gonna give us that 30 degrees plus a 30 degrees to make the 60. So let's pretend like this piece is together. I've just taken the scrap and put it back. I've cut it in half there um, and we're going to flip it and turn it so that it sits up against the fence. Now that is 30 degrees. Um, I just marked it at 30. So now whenever your miter is set at 30 and your 30 degree board, you're making a 60 degree cut. And here's our final product with just a little bit of urethane on top. Very cool piece, uh, very easy to make. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe and like.